Hello everyone, it's Artem here. This is part 3 of our series where we're building AI-powered Next.js application from scratch. So last time we end up with the header section and we started to build in our core of our product. So today we will continue doing this. I have a small plan. If you forgot, if you forgot we are building AI-powered application to help with teachers or students with AI-powered generations. What I mean by that is they can log in with their to their account, see a bunch of tools to to choose from, let's say a lesson plan, a quiz, some flashcards, uh, notes. Click on the tool, see the information about this tool, some description and other. Click the use to use this tool. Enter some input information. We will do this dynamically based on the tool using the Zot schemas. If I select smart notes, I will have like a file uploads, as well. We will do all of this. So we need to do this all dynamically. After I choose the tool, we will do the generation with the with the uh, OpenAI API, show it in the separate screen, let the user edit this and uh, export if needed. So today we'll try start step by step. So this is what we are trying to do. And now we have like basically nothing on our example application. So first of all, let's start from thinking as always. Okay, we have the tool main tool page, then we have dynamic page with the ID of the tool, so the tool name right here. Also, we have the button that by clicking on the button, we show the special uh, dialog, uh, which basically act as a like, form where the user input information and click the generate. So let's start building this. So we have the page for the tools main page. Here we will show the cards section. So we will just for now do some placeholder. We will call like a div and um, cards to cards huh. also we will do a dynamic page here so we'll do new folder we will call it like a name let's say like dynamic parameter that will go as a, as a tool page we'll create a new um page here as you know to make it like it as an active root and here we will export tool page and here we'll go params which will contain our name. I don't think we need this right now. We'll delete this uh, out completion. And now watch what I'm doing. So here I want to create a separate folder with my components. And instead of calling it components, just like this, I will do underscore components. So why it's useful? As you see, like all our fold folders X as a roots. So it is expect like a page that is X inside. If we will remove the underscore and just add the components inside, it's still going to be fine because we are not adding the page TSX, but just to be safe, to make sure it's not going to use this folder as a, as a basically as a routine when it going to calculate all our roots in our folder, we'll just basically remove it like completely, it's not going to be affected by the routine. So it just act as a, as a regular folder where we you could put like components, files, and other. The same goes for the actions. So we will use the action folder where we put all our actions that we use for this particular route. This way, it's easier to organize to maintain and other. So we'll call it actions. And right now, also what we need for our tools is basically some config file because I don't want to do them. I don't want to do everything in the like a, in a page file that like I can here. So I want to have some config so where I will export the object with all our cards because it's all going to be static data, like the information about the quiz, information about lesson plan, what the schema we use and other. So we will use like the tools config.ts file inside the tools folder, you see. So and here let's just prepare something. So we will export tools config, which is going to be array which is going to contain some object. Let's quickly discuss what we have in our config file. So we'll have the title that we use for the cars title. Then the name, name will be useful for us for the routine. We will use this to construct the links for the tools inner page. Description, this again will be useful for the cards. Icon, to show the icon of the tool and href. Actually, we don't really need this. So we might just delete it like this. Instead, we'll we'll add something else right now. So let me show you. First, we will delete this this line. Uh, 
let's instead add an overview like this so what should, what is will be useful basically we'll use this kind of object that we store inside to construct our inner page and show a nice description of the tool like a more detailed description so let's add, add a couple of tools and then we'll start we'll do everything else later we'll just for now we'll add a lesson plan let's say and also a quiz let's look at this and let's leverage our ai capabilities right right here we'll just basically ask to add our copy just so we have something different so yeah basically it's quite good yeah it's just for now it, it's fine okay we have two configs already right now let's construct our pages so we will go to the page we'll have the container and right now i will just use to make it faster i will copy the code and explain what i'm doing just to save the time and do the video like shorter so for for our main tools page we have the mx auto container to center it on the screen with the tools h1 inside where i added some styling here then we just basically have the simple grid where we will map we imported our tools config we map it our tool for every tool we add in the tool car component that we need to add to show the tool and we pass in all the props from the tool one thing i want to do let's type it out so we have like some information about the the tool and again auto completion help us so we have just some type typescript support we need to define tool card for now we can keep it inside the same the same component here the same page instead of adding like a in a components folder why just so we can easily work um, on the component without like changing the uh, the files from one to another then if we'll feel like we should like separate it in a separate file we will do this um, for now i will keep it like this again i will use the prepared code that i have let's explain this and then we will fix the typing here so we'll in import the link element uh, where we will construct the link using tools config basically we'll pass pass the tool inside and we will use the name of the tool to construct the link again if we go to the tools config we'll be using like this you see why we need the name because title will be used as a like as actual title that we will show a name will use to, to easy to have a nice and good looking link basically it's more like a slug then we have some like a hover on shadow we will have we have like a rounded container and inside it's quite easy we just have the icon with the gradient background we have the title of the tool and description and also here instead of doing like this let's first delete the overview we don't need we will use the overview later and here we will use the tool and we might just also explore the type here so we could reuse it on separate different pages and we'll import it here like this so we have the tool card we will have we have the tool page and what we should see now if we'll go to the, the page is two is two tools with the icon with the title with the description now what we need to, to construct is by clicking on the page instead of showing just a, like a string we need to show the inner page like inside of the tool Let, let's do this right now we'll have the page we also already pass in the params so to see this you see by clicking it we construct in the url and we have this dynamic value here it's good because you see we can get access to the tool by importing the tool config file and looking for the tool with the tool name that is pass it to our params dot name so and we have access basically to all the tool at all the information about this tool first we'll add a small if statement if like something goes wrong and we cannot find the tool to show that tool not found instead of the tool inner page and for the tool inner page we need to construct some nice and good looking like a like a basically like a like a information inner information page of this tool we will select all of this here and paste it like this and now fix all the errors that we that we have so first let's do the like this let's import the link let's also import the the chevron icon from the lucy track also we will import the button that we already installed from chatien right now instead of showing this we will use generate 
here we're uh, showing the small button that will go will um, basically bring us back to the previous page then like a simple container to show the two icon then to show them like the preview of the uh, of the information about the tool then there's some commented code that we don't need right here tool description with text sm and slate um, slate color svg icon i will show you in a second a title of overview and here we see this pros classes that we added we need this to basically to instead of showing like a regular h1 p ul will show something more more good looking i will show you in our example page if you click on the lesson plan here you see like it's already a nicely kind of styled um, regular uh, tags so h1 looks like this um p tags looks with with some special styling which for my opinion looks good to do this we need to let's i will show you like how how you can find this so if we get like Telvin pros it's a kind of the part of Telvin topography and to install this we basically need to do this so we need um, npm install a Telvin topography so i'll go back to our project open a new terminal and i will do npm install so it's already installed so we can close this for some reason i see the lucid react is uh, showing the error we will reinstall it right now if, if it's something something wrong with this but let's first go to the page and double check okay we have some problems here let's try instead try to reload the server and see what's going on okay yeah but just by reloading the server uh, development server it's all good so now uh, let's go to our tailwind config ts file here let's uh, here let's add one more thing and it's tailwind typography you see um it's for some reason it's throwing this lint errors that require is forbidden let's not focus on this right now i don't know why it's happening let me check double check it a little bit later but for now it's all working you see it's up, um, successfully applied our pros classes so it's all good we'll fix this later or we'll change the lint settings or we will do something else uh, but for now i will keep it like it is with these errors inside so okay we applied nice pros classes and what we see inside first of all the tools back button with the chevron icon from lucid then basically the same that we have on the card like a icon title description generate button that will use as a basically as a trigger for our dialogue uh, dialogue to, to, to create generation lesson plan title description and features inside 